Uh, hi, uh, before I started, uh, I'd like to invite uh, all of you who is living in San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, this coming Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 5, uh, I will be doing a pottery show in Palo Alto Art Center. Uh, there's uh, about 160 clay and glass artists uh, doing the show there. It's a very nice show and very uh, beautiful uh, environment and uh, many many different uh, style of uh, pottery and glass. So uh, if you have time, please stop by my booth. My booth number is 89. Okay. Um, it's in uh, Palo Alto uh, Art Center. It's on uh, um, Embarcadero. Uh, I will put a link on my uh, video later on. And if you want more, no more information, you can check out the ACGA A C G A dot net. Okay. Uh, today, the uh, people uh, ask me if. Uh, they want to throw a lot, very large amount of clay, and uh, how do I do it? Okay, uh, there's a, a, a easier way. Uh, I usually don't, normally I don't uh, center my clay this way, but uh, uh, I can show you that you do separate two pieces and then you attach them together. Okay, normally I don't do that. I just uh, throw a uh, uh, one whole piece. Um, the two pieces of clay is about uh, not quite 12 pounds, but uh, I first start to throw uh, to center uh, the clay. This is about six pounds of clay. And again, um, when you place your clay here, usually you want to uh, adjust it so that it will be uh, for you effortless to uh, try to center it. If you replace irregular shape, it's gonna be very hard for you to start with. So normally, uh, when you put your clay, there's some circle on the bed, and uh, you should be able to uh, adjust it. So first, I'm gonna center this piece, and then later on, I'm gonna add another piece to it. Usually, I, uh, when I teach my beginner class, I always tell them that when they are centering, they need to pay attention to three S's. Okay? The first one is the speed control. You want to spin your, your wheel speed a bit faster. And then, uh, you want to slippery all the time. So it means that constantly you want to add water or the slip to the surface of your clay. And the third one is you want to find a very good support. Okay, usually you can rest your arm on your left or maybe even a splash pan. Okay, if you have a splash pan. Like this one here, I'm, I'm resting my right arm on the uh, splash pan. And while I'm pushing down the clay, and my right hand is kind of like a uh, very rigid wall there. And the clay has nowhere to go. Okay, now I have centered the, the first piece. And make sure uh, when you want to attach two different pieces of clay, make sure that you don't have a, a cup like uh, surface on the top. You want more like a dome shape on the top. Now I'm going to add this one and make sure you don't have a cup e here either. Okay, so you want to place on top of it. You want to attach to it.
Now I have, I have combined two pieces of clay together and uh, I don't use a lot of the stress to, uh, to center it because I, sep uh, I center them separately. ready to open the hole. I'm using my thumb to dig a hole here. And while I'm digging a hole, make sure this hand is still holding on the side of the clay. So you always want to find a support. support. Now I'm ready to dig in more. Before I do that, I want slippery again, right? So this time I'm going to use my left hand. Since when you throw, my split speed, uh, my spinning direction of the wheel is counterclockwise. So you have to work on your, your right hand side. And then you're going to use your left hand on the inside anyway. So I might as well just use my left hand to open the hole. And maybe you can use your right hand to help it. So I'm digging it in. And when you're digging, make sure that you're holding on the side of the clay. Otherwise, if you open like this, you don't have support. If you have this, you have good support. So while you're opening, you still kind of compress this wall so that you don't lose your center. Right, keep on going. Since I'm opening the uh, larger piece of clay, so I put my two hands so that it's kind of like uh, leverage, leverage, try to leverage. Compress the inside bottom. So now the clay here is still quite thick, so I will just give it a push. Squeeze the large amount of clay up. I'm making a large white ball, but uh, it's easier to open it wider. So the first thing I want to do is try to uh, give it, lift it up high enough, and then I open it later on. Make sure when you're making a ball, the inside has to be a nice curve. 
on the inside. Try to get the slip to coat it on the inside wall. change the angle of my camera so you will be able to see how what I'm doing on the inside. Uh, basically I'm mean, just using a plastic rib to smooth the uh, throw mark. Pay more attention to the inside of the curve uh, because for outside you can always trim it off, but uh, 
the inside is very important. You want it nice and smooth on the inside. Because when people are using the bowl, they only the first look is the inside of the bowl, not the outside of the bowl. So it's the first impression. So uh, for making bowls, usually I, I would uh, pay more detailed attention to the inside curve. Inside smoothing. Uh, I'm using the uh, piece of uh, very thin leather chamois to uh, just uh, wrap up on the rim to round the corner. So after get carefully uh, smoothing the inside curve, now the whole piece is done. I'm showing, just showing you how the uh, inside look. Okay, now this is the finished one. Uh, the uh, diameter is around 16 inches, or maybe a little bit wider than 16 inches, and uh, not quite uh, uh, a 12 pound of porcelain. Uh, I don't uh, try to achieve uh, to throw very thin. All I care is the shape, so uh, yeah, uh, maybe the wall is still a bit thicker, but uh, later on I could uh, just easily remove by using the trimming method. And after finish, the whole piece, the wheel is spinning, and they can see that it's still quite straight. And the inside curve is very smooth. And that's the the the, uh, the ball. It's all about you want to be nice and smooth shaped, um, especially on the inside. And uh, yeah, again, uh, this coming weekend, I'm going to do a show, the uh, ACGA clay and glass festival it's in Palo Alto Art Center and uh, will be around 160 people showing and my booth number is 89 and I hope to see you there okay thanks for watching